I threw a dart at a spinning globe and this is the result that I got from it. Stick around to find out exactly where this pizza comes from and why we did it. What's going on guys, it's Anthony Camarda. Make sure you drop a like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so that way you never miss a video. Today, we're gonna be making a pizza, but it's all gonna be based on what we shoot with a dart on the globe. We're gonna take the globe, we're gonna spin it, I'm simply gonna throw the dart on it, and whatever country we get, we have to make a pizza using that cuisine. Let's see what we're gonna be making. All right, let's go. We got Spain. Spain's an interesting one. I'm actually, I, I like that. With that being said, we're gonna have to go to the grocery store and get our ingredients. Let's get to it. Julian, let's go. Let's talk about the ingredients that we're gonna be doing for this pizza. We are gonna use our regular pizza dough. That's too good to uh, not use. I didn't pay him to say that, by the way. <laughs> we're gonna be using salmorejo for our sauce. It's actually a soup that we're gonna be using. We're gonna thicken it up a little bit more than the recipe is gonna call for. Very similar to gazpacho. Gazpacho also typically has elements like red onion and green pepper that are added into the soup. So we're gonna tie those in later with, as toppings. And then we're gonna use a Spanish cheese. It's apparently one of the most popular uh, cheeses in Spain. It's called manchego. A lot of the time it gets wine soaked, so it has really cool rind on it. We are going to top the pizza with uh, amon, and since it's Spanish, we assume that the J is silent. Amon, um, yamon, <laughs> jamon. Alongside that, we're gonna add saffron. We're using saffron so that way we kind of tie in one of the elements of paella, one of the most famous Spanish dishes. Red onion and green pepper, as we talked about with the gazpacho, so we still have some of those elements in there. And then to top that all off, we're gonna give it a nice olive oil drizzle that's typically used with salmorejo, and everything is gonna tie together really nice. I couldn't have said it better myself. Today's a tag team effort and uh, we're gonna execute. Here we go. First order of the day, let's uh, go do our neighborhood market and uh, grab ourselves some, uh, some groceries. This is a very important mission, okay? So we need to be on our A game. We need to be ready to execute and get it done, all right? I'll take a pumpkin from you. I'll take a pumpkin as well. <laughs> all set? Five, six, seven. Nice. They're pretty skinny blocks. I think three Two. should be fine. Yeah, because we can put it in the shredder. Should be good. That's fine. We have red onions and green pepper at the restaurant. Yeah. We got garlic there. We got extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, we still got that. We have manchego. Yep. We need saffron. Spanish saffron. You're telling me that I'm paying 24 bucks for this little pinch Look of saffron. Look at the amount that's in there. It's not even a full ounce. Not even, a, that's insane. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I was looking at cards at this rate. Oh, it's my brother's birthday today. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, yeah, I need to get a card. <laughs> all right, I'm getting that one. Life is all shits and giggles until someone giggles, then shits. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, asshole. All right, I'll down this. Flakes your tomatoes in it's the It's Spanish, it's the matas. Have a good one. All right, thank you. All right, successful run. Time us. What was the time on it? Yeah, 15 minutes. 15? That's not bad. We stopped for a drink, stopped to grab my brother a birthday card, and got our stuff all in 15 minutes. Right. Where are we going next? We're going to Lidl, right? I guess so. Lidl, 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 Lidl. Let's call Jacob. Yo, what's up? <laughs> We're filming a video right now. Say what's up. Oh, uh, yeah, what's up? That life is fun. What are you doing right now? We're gonna pass by for a second. We're literally like about to pass your neighborhood. Yeah, we're the one in, bro. All right, bet we'll, we'll be there in like two minutes. Uh, we're... Side quest, hey. let's go. <laughs> <laughs> like, subscribe, turn on notifications so you never miss a video because we're gonna continue to do adventures like this. We're gonna create pizza fusion one step at a time. Hey. <laughs> What's up? What's up, guys? Yeah, so we're about to film a Spanish pizza. Yeah, it's, yeah, so what I did was I spun a globe, threw a dart at it, and then I ended up getting Spain. We're in the middle of trying to find a um, what's it called? Spanish ham, Emon Serrano, or Iberico. Is that one open? International grocery. Should we maybe we should call him. Donde está el cabrón? <laughs> 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 Get Ethan to hit up one of his Latina girls. <laughs> oh, yeah. International grocery. Hi, um, I'm calling to find out if you guys have uh, like a Spanish meat. It's called a uh, jamón. What's it called? Uh, jamón serrano or ibérico. No, we don't have it. I'll look around. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. Goodbye. Where's Spain located? Spain is next to Portugal. Is that in the Atlantic? <laughs> no. Nowhere? Yeah, a lot of Africa shit. I was actually hoping I got Africa. Yeah. But just yeah. Woodbark. <laughs> <laughs> woodbark and water. Woodbark and dirt. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to eat your best friend. <laughs> Hi, uh, I was just calling oh, because I saw you guys had some international foods. Yeah, I was looking to see if y'all had uh, Spanish ham, either like uh, the ham on uh, serrano or Ibirico. No, the regular uh, small ham. I'm starting to think Spanish ham is just regular ham. <laughs> okay. What language does it speak? All right, thank you. He said he goes. Oh no, it's just regular ham. It's Spanish. Julian said hi like the villager from Minecraft. He's like, hi. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's fine then. We'll, we'll go to Lidl. Yeah, we'll go to Lidl. Lidl, 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 Lidl. I did the same <laughs> shit. Everyone's putting labels on the shit. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how do you think the ham feels about being labeled? Like, <laughs> yeah, like seriously, we're we labeling. Dude, no one asked the ham what they think. Yeah. Like, what do what they identify as? Do we as? even know? Yeah, what does the ham identify as? It may not even identify as a ham for all we know. Could be a chicken. Could be a chicken. Keep me posted. Maybe I'll pull through if I finish quick enough. Yeah, we'll be there. At and I tend to finish quick, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you, boys. All right, I'll see, All right. see you, guys. Man. Julian's on the trip. He's going to Lidl. We're gonna find out if we got a. Uh... What's it called again? Spanish ham. I don't know what your fucking name is. Come on. What do we got? Shorty back up. Oh. 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 Bag secured. Bob. Let's go. Hell yeah. Let's go. We can finally make this pizza the way that it was supposed to be made. The restaurant, we got everything. Let's, let's get it. That's all go. we need. All right, we are at the pizza place, got our groceries, so now let's make this pizza. So we finally got it. The Hamon Serrano dry cured ham. It took us about an hour, I would say, to find this, but we finally got it. And let me say, I've already tried it, but I'm gonna try it again. And it is so good. Think of like, prosciutto for example but it's got a more nuttier and like a smokier flavor it's just amazing so first things first with our spanish pizza we need to make sure that we bloom the saffron this will wake it up so we're just going to take a little sprinkle simply just sprinkle on top we're going to let that sit for a little bit now we're going to make our sauce which is the salmorejo we need to cut our tomatoes and then core them in the middle so you have no seeds add some olive oil sea salt a little bit of sherry garlic cloves and then we've also got some bread right here that's going to thicken it up so we're going to use some of that into the food processor same with the bread Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and blend this up a little bit so that way we can get a little more space. Let's get some garlic up in there. So now we're gonna run this on low and then we're gonna drizzle some olive oil in there, sherry, and our salt. We're gonna use a third of a cup. Oh yeah, nice and creamy, that's awesome. Now that our saffron has bloomed and you can see that it's turning yellow, we're gonna take a strainer and pour it into our sauce. Simple as that. And now we mix. Whoa, hold up. Dude, no way, that is so good. So now we're gonna put this in the fridge while we do the rest of our ingredients. Oh, that screech. So we got our dough, I'm never gonna tell you the recipe, so don't even try. As always, same way around. Speed run this baby. All right, so we got our dough down on the peel. Let's go ahead and grab our sauce. Around and around and around and around we go. Manchego, pre-shredded because I did not want you guys to have to sit through all that. That would suck. So we've already got that shredded. 
Let's get our prosciutto. Not a prosciutto, I'm so sorry, Howard, come on. Let's get our green pepper and red onion on there. Red onion. And in the oven. So we're about five minutes away from this being done, but first we need to make sure that we get that saffron on top. As I sit here and do tedious stuff for a couple of minutes, I'll let you guys enjoy the fast forwarded version where I just jump cut and then I'll throw it back in the oven. Here it is, the final product. We're gonna go ahead and cut this thing through and we're gonna give it a try. Finish with an olive oil drizzle. This is our final creation of the Spanish pizza. Next, we gotta make sure that we give it a try. So we gotta go ahead, pull ourselves a slice and we're gonna rate this thing. No flop. That's a good sign right off the bat. We got jamon, green pepper, red onion, all up in that first bite with that manchego cheese and samarejo. That's so interesting. Oh, the manchego cheese just came in. Oh my God. That, that aftertaste of the cheese blending in with that is just to die for. That is absolutely amazing. Jamon is nice and crispy now. Goes really well with the red onion. Overall, I'm gonna give that one I'm gonna give it an 8.1. First of all, it's a first attempt. It's the first time that we used any of these Spanish ingredients. I really can't complain over the way that we produced this pie just right off the bat. I mean, it was such an impulsive thing. This is really good. That'll do it for today. I appreciate you guys all for watching and make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. And until next time, I will see you guys on the next one. Ow. I will see you guys on the next one. <laughs>